Yo, how's it going you sexy fuckers? My name is Neon and I'm back with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 video. How is everyone doing today? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to be showing you one of the best and easiest ways to level up your weapons right now if you're lazy. If you don't want to grind those weapon levels, this is probably one of the only easiest ways to do it right now as there's not a lot of glitches and we're kinda dead on them at the moment. Literally, mostly everything is patched so if you want me to try and get something to upload for you guys that's insane, make sure to drop a like on this video. And don't forget to subscribe! Mwah. Also, I wouldn't have the time to be making as much videos as I am if it wasn't for the sponsors, so a big shout out to today's sponsor. Welcome to the website Damn Mods. They are the go-to quickest and safest website for all your GTA 5 and Call of Duty needs. They have MW2 bot lobby services, Orion, Polyatomic unlocks and more. And last but not least, GTA 5 cash and rank services if GTA 5 is the thing for you. They have awesome good reviews on Trustpilot as well so I 100% recommend them. If you're interested and want to know more, check out the link in the description. Alright hey everyone, so what we're going to be doing is in DMZ today, so what you want to go ahead and do is go over to your weapon section and pick a gun that you're going to be getting weapon levels on. Just remember though, if you fail this and you die, you will lose your insured weapon slot and you have to wait until you can do it again. But anyway, what you want to do is just pick a gun that you want weapon levels on and then head into a game of DMZ. Once you're in DMZ, what you want to go ahead and do is find a Deliver Cargo mission. As you can see, this is one right here. I'm going ahead and activating it. You can find these on the map when you spawn in. Now, I just want to say, if you're watching this video before Christmas and New Year's, then I hope you have a really good Christmas and a really good New Year's, as this year has been truly shit. Anyway, what you want to go ahead and do is continue the Deliver Cargo mission. It's going to give you one of these turret weaponized vehicles. This is what you want. Just make sure you survive, though, because you will get shot at by a chopper, and it can be annoying at times. Just go ahead and hop on the turret to kill some bots if they're in your way. On the way there, that gives you 100 XP every time you kill a bot anyway. That also goes to towards your weapon XP. Okay, so once you have delivered the cargo, it's going to give you a good amount of cash, and so far we're just playing the game normally. What we're going to go ahead and do is refill and repair the vehicle because this vehicle is going to be very useful later on. Now once you have done that, head over to one of these hospital areas right here, then go ahead and make your way to the top floor. Now I just jumped on the vehicle to get to the top floor because I'm special. Anyway, inside of these hospitals, there's insane amounts of first aid kits on the wall them and you should find yourself a battle rage. If not, then you're insanely unlucky. I found two in the one building, that's why I recommend going there. Okay, what you want to do is head over to a buy station and then once you have done that, you want to activate your battle rage. Once you have activated the battle rage, go into the buy station and buy yourself an ammo box. What this is going to do is it's going to glitch out and it's going to give you unlimited battle rage. This is very, very useful in DMZ towards XP and it's going to give you a huge advantage when you're in gunfights with other players. What I recommend doing now is with any leftover money, go ahead and spam armor plates as this is going to give you XP for the weapon you're holding in your hand. Unfortunately, it's not going to give you as much XP as it used to because it only gives you 10 XP per plate, but it does add up if you spam the plates. It's better on Warzone because you will get more XP per plate. Now, before there was a glitch where you went onto the turret and the bots would ignore you, you would go to different locations that are stacked with bots and DMZ and you would kill them on the turret and get 100 XP every time you kill a bot, the XP goes towards your weapon as well. But that was unfortunately patched, so what I've came up with is once you do the battle rage glitch and you get into the turret and the bot shoot you, you're going to rapidly regen health, so you're not going to die quick and you can do the same thing as you did before and rapidly kill bots for weapon XP. Now what I recommend doing is going around buildings at the same time, finding some rare loot, taking it to the buy station and selling it, then spamming the armor plates. This is going to give you more XP for your weapon. I know it's not the best glitch in the world, but unfortunately it's the best we have at the moment. As soon as we get a new one, remember, I will upload it on the channel. So smack a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. Have a good Christmas everyone, and New Year. My name is Neon, and I'm out. Peace.